You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for our next SpongeBob Bikini Bottom Electronic Aquarium Fish Tank. Lots of words, I'm not sure. I've said it differently so many times, but you know what I'm talking about. So I was incomplete on my Patrick house. Remember, I still needed to build this. So I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for something called Plasti Make. So I ordered it from their website, and I've been wanting to make this little weather vane. I know his looks like it's wood or some kind of bamboo pole, so I thought, well, I want something for my fish tank, something I can make and something I can put in there. Plus, I wanted to use this and try it for other projects. Here is their brochure called Plasti Make. Came all the way from, I believe, Australia. Let's see. It doesn't say go to their website, but I'm pretty sure that's where it was from. So now I need to get the water temperature. It said boiling water to 140, and we're finally getting down to about 160. So it's real close because now I'll show you my color tablets. I had to order these extra because I wanted to make it yellow. So I have like a purple, a black, and a green. Could be blue, not sure. So let's see, it says five pellets per tablespoon. So I have a tablespoon. I'm gonna use a tablespoon to see if that's enough. Won't stain, they got all kinds of information. Always be careful, especially with hot water. Heat it, combine boiling water and plasti make. I almost burned myself. 140 degrees, so we're real close. It says transform it into a soft, transparent blob. So I'll put the five pellets. Let me get my five pellets out. I don't know how yellow that's going to be. It doesn't seem like a lot. Two, four, five per tablespoon. Okay. I'm going to make it bright yellow because I want it to show in the tank. I'm not going to try to make it brown or close to the wood color that he has. And different pictures, I've seen it different ways too. Sometimes it's off to the side. And then a tablespoon. So let me just check one more time. Either way, I think we're super close here. Turn that on. Okay, about 140. Well, it went back up. We're super close. So when it's set, I will come back. Let me scoop up my... So remember now, we're going for this look. And you can make all sorts of things. Look at the pictures. You can make little figures. You can color them. And it's supposed to, well, we'll see. I don't know if it, if it gets hardened. You're supposed to put, you could put it in cold water to speed up that process. Here is a tablespoon. Now I chose a glass so that we can see it as it turns into a blob. So when I come back, we'll get started. All right, so the fish tank is bubbling in the background because I'm getting ready. And then, let's see, so here we go. This is, uh, I read all the instructions now. Watch for it, remove plastic made from hot water. It should be a transparent blob. Okay, well look at that. It's turning right away, transparent. Let me add my color crystals in there. Although they're not crystals. Get this all to connect, come on. Find your little brothers there. There you go. You're all in now. Oh, look at that. See, let me hold it up. So now it is pretty much a clear blob. Now remember, it's hot water. You don't want to just put your hand in there. Be careful. Put it out here. And just see if I... Oh, okay, see? Look at that. So it is starting to get very soft. Let me wipe this water off here. I'm being very careful with my hands not to burn them. It is hot. It almost feels good, sort of therapeutic. Ooh, look at that. Check it out. It's like a putty, isn't it? A plastic putty. Now they did have, did say have some cold water ready if you want to quickly stop the process and get it to harden. Look at that. I don't know if I need to stick it in the water again. Didn't say anything about needing it in air bubbles, so maybe they all come out, but I'm trying to do the whole thing for you right here so you can see it as it changes. Very cool, there's still some clear in there, so I'm just gonna keep working it. This is neat stuff. 
Look at that. It's getting harder now. It's getting harder to pull and harder to do. But I'm playing like I'm playing. It's like a Play-Doh video almost. All right. Silly putty. Not Play-Doh. It's more like silly putty. All right. So I'm going to put this in there. And when I come back then, it should be ready. And I will get started. Okay, so here we go. I flattened it out to get more surface area there. Take it out of my piping hot water, move that off to the side. And you know what I'll do? I'm just going to take some of it out. I'll leave the rest in the water in case I need it right away. So I will take a piece now to make the original base for the arrow. Remember, I'm going for this here. Can you see it back there? Okay. Now, proportionally, it's not going to be too big because this house is not that big in my aquarium. But I wanted to make sure that it's going to fit in that hole on the top, so that's why I have my template. So let's say that's it right there. Okay. Ooh, it's hard to cut. It's already starting to harden. Let's cut that end off. I don't like the way that finished. That's better. Okay. So now I need to make some pieces. I can trim that as you can tell, just with scissors. Let me grab another piece. Let me make the line going across the top. I'm gonna put all these scraps in there. Now don't throw out your scraps because they say you can remelt it. So same thing there. Now the one going across the top. So proportionately, probably no bigger than that. Let me connect these two. Ooh. So to connect, what was the trick there if you want to make that connect? Maybe I got to put the whole thing in the water. Let me do that and kind of soften it. Okay. Pinch that there. Okay, now I need to make the arrow tip. Okay, a little smaller than that. I can still mold with it, but I'm losing some of the stickiness. So let me put this, the tip of this, and let me move it in. I'll show you what I'm doing. Taking the tip of this, kind of softening just that, and then I'll put this in. Just enough to soften it like I did last time. Okay, and then now the end pieces. I want to get some fresh Plasti make out. So now there's two hooks on the end, two of the flights, whatever you want to call them. one. It's easier now I'm finding just to cut it and not try to pull it because when you pull it you get this stringy put that in there effect. Okay so I'm just gonna get these on there. Let me get them soften. Soften the end of this and soften these. You can't touch them because they will stick. Put them under, bend them back, do one more, oh I don't like the placement of that one, move that one back just a little, and same with this one, I might have to reheat this whole thing up, yep, I'm going to reheat it, 
Uh, so if there was a way to like get some kind of heating element just to get it just right, it would be cool. I'll have to think about that. First time I've ever used it. Okay, this is what I'm going for. Let me see if I can get that whole thing in the hot water. Oh, that one's stuck. Let's remelt this one. Maybe if I do it this way and then pinch it down. There. Okay, I want these shorter. But I figure now I can just come in and cut this. Okay, cut these. See what I'm going for now? Watch your fingers, Dave. Oops. That's kind of the look I wanted. There, just like that. So let me heat the whole thing up one more time just to kind of get this all pressed together. And then let me stick it in the cold water. Get rid of all these chunky pieces. That'll all rework together. So if I want to remake it, I can. All right, let's test it. Look at that. Bend it. It doesn't even bend. There you go, I've made my little top piece. And look at that, it's like a hard plastic. Now I'll just leave that in there. When I come back, I will move on to the fish that's going into this tank and then I'll show you that. And then we'll put my new piece in and my new fish in and we'll watch the tank. All right, so the new fish today is my second Robo fish. I really like the way the Robo fish swim. Water activated swim sensors, just like the other one. Collect them all, I don't have them all. And you can also get a fish bowl to put them in, but I have my tank, so. Swims like a real fish, lifelike tail, thin motion, water activated swimming mechanism. Let's get him out of the package. I believe those are extra bad. Robo fish comes with two batteries inside, plus two bonus batteries. That is super nice. Let's check out Robo fish. Okay, here we go. Ooh, look at that. Now I'll know if the batteries that are in there are good just by, yep, you just touch those little sensors there. Oh, he's ready to swim. And he's varying in his swimming, so faster, and then he goes slower, and then he goes to the right, it looks like. So depending on which way that little fin is moving. Let me show you this here. Now I put a piece in straight out of, I just melded it flat, or molded it flat. Now look at it. So let's see, I'm gonna to try to cut this with the scissors so you see how strong this is now. So it is like cutting a piece of plastic. I don't think I'll be able to go through this big chunk. Not easily, look, it bent my scissors, so. It's pretty durable, which is cool because I have to remake a piece for another toy. So I might do that in a video. I've been looking for over a year, maybe longer for a piece and haven't been able to find it. So. I'm all set. I can put that on Patrick's house, get my fish in there, and then watch the rest of the fish swim around. Okay, so here we go. I am now putting in Patrick's little weather vane on the top. Ooh, yeah. Fits pretty good there. Could have been just a little bit longer, but I think it sits there really nice. So now you get what I was going for there, which direction it's pointing. So none of the fish are in there because I wanted to show you the new fish. Let's get him swimming. Here we go. He's coming in from the top. See him there? Ooh, he's ready to go. Swim! Alright, so we'll watch that for about uh, 20 seconds. Maybe less. I don't know. I like to keep putting fish in there. So nothing else has been done to the inside of the tank. So now we're going to watch the new fish. I have not put any batteries in the other ones either. I'm going to see what happens. Keep checking back. And I think I want to break out the submarine today. So let's see where he swims. Swimming good, look at him go. So let's put in his Robofish companion. He's been swimming great. 
And a few people do like my shark, so let's get a shark in there. Shh, die. And another shark. Fish. Oh, it's a very populated tank now. My seahorse. My hammerhead. And I'll put the jellyfish in there just because they add a little extra color. And things to run into. And then my last one is the remote control one, which doesn't do much because I'm not here. Let's see if he's ready to run with the remote control. Okay, he might need batteries. Remote control is not working. I will take, oh, there he goes. Let's see, forward, okay. Yeah, there he goes. All right, so I'll let this go for a little bit. My hammerhead looks like he's gonna need batteries. So he's gonna go to the repair shop. So I'll let it go for a little bit and then check back, add my hammerhead in and the sub at some point. So just keep watching. I've been putting kind of the same music back in the videos because everybody seems to like that. So I'll do that again. And if you don't like the music, then just uh, turn the volume down and put something on that you enjoy. So thanks for watching and thanks for staying with me on this whole video series. Next week, maybe I'll do one of the speed boats on top. How about that? Let me know in the comments if you want to see one of the boats drive around the top. And thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. Later!
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.